Thanks for that introduction. Two billion people in the world are infected with TB. But that's one third of the world's population. Well, not everyone who gets infected gets sick. Only about 5% of the people do. So everyone else is fine? Well, not exactly. Even in those who are fine uh, and are infected, bacteria are still able to grow. But why? Do doesn't anyone else have any questions? All right, well, if you're the only one with questions, uh, I guess I'll answer it. It's actually a pretty good question. And it's the one that we set out to try to answer. Why is it that bacteria are able to survive even in people with perfectly good immune systems? To figure that out, we took a set of bacterial mutants and infected them uh, into mice. We then sequenced the survivors to figure out which ones could grow and which ones couldn't. That helped us identify all the genes that TB needs to survive during infection. But what does that tell you about how TB survives immunity? Now we wanted to use the same approach to understand how TB counteracts certain elements in the immune system. We did the exact same experiment in mice that lack CD4 T cells, a key part of resistance to TB. This allowed us to identify TB genes specifically required to resist immunity. We called this group of genes the counteractome. We found hundreds of genes. So get to the interesting part already. Okay, well one of the pathways we found was bacterial tryptophan biosynthesis. Bacteria that can't make tryptophan or, or tryptophan oxytrophs were rapidly cleared by CD4 mediated immunity. And we tracked this down to one enzyme, IDO. CD4 T cells through interferon gamma induce IDO, which degrades intracellular tryptophan. So the immune system basically attempts to starve these pathogens of tryptophan. But wait a minute, TB can make tryptophan, so who cares? You're right, TB can make its own tryptophan to survive. But what if we could turn TB into a tryptophan oxytroph? To do this, we found a compound, 6-FABA, that kills bacteria when they are starved of tryptophan. When IDO is activated, 6-FABA inhibits tryptophan synthesis in TB and bacteria are killed. When we treated mice with the compound, we were able to limit bacterial growth. So now we're getting somewhere. You've made a drug that converts TB into an oxytroph so that it's cleared synergistically by the immune system. Well, not quite. I wouldn't run down to the drugstore just yet. We don't know if it's going to work in humans, we don't know if it's going to be safe, but we have identified a CD4 mediated mechanism that attempts to kill TB and an agent that helps CD4 T cells kill TB more effectively. And it's just one of the many pathways we found that hopefully can be exploited for therapeutic interventions. But at the end of the day, you've discovered a pathway that fails to clear pathogens. And, and you're going to submit that to cell? Yeah, it's probably not worth it. Plus, I hear they make you shoot a video. I'm Eric Rubin. And I'm Jason Zay. And, and we, we approve, approve this message. message.